Post-quantum cryptography, sometimes referred to as quantum proof, quantum safe or quantum resistant, refers to cryptographic algorithms, usually public key algorithms that are thought to be secure against an attack by a quantum computer. As of 2018, this is not true for the most popular public key algorithms, which can be efficiently broken by a sufficiently strong hypothetical quantum computer. The problem with currently popular algorithms is that their security relies on one of three hard mathematical problems, the integer factorization problem, the discrete logarithm problem or the elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem. All of these problems can be easily solved on a sufficiently powerful quantum computer running Shor's algorithm. Even though current, publicly known, experimental quantum computers lack processing power to break any real cryptographic algorithm, many cryptographers are designing new algorithms to prepare for a time when quantum computing becomes a threat. This work has gained greater attention from academics and industry through the PQ Crypto Conference series since 2006 and more recently by several workshops on quantum safe cryptography hosted by the European Telecommunications Standards Institute ETSI and the Institute for Quantum Computing. In contrast to the threat quantum computing poses to current public key algorithms, most current symmetric cryptographic algorithms and hash functions are considered to be relatively secure against attacks by quantum computers. While the quantum Grover's algorithm does speed up attacks against symmetric ciphers, doubling the key size can effectively block these attacks. Thus post-quantum symmetric cryptography does not need to differ significantly from current symmetric cryptography. See section on symmetric key approach below. Algorithms <inaudible> 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 Currently post-quantum cryptography research is mostly focused on six different approaches. <laughs> Lattice-based cryptography This approach includes cryptographic systems such as learning with errors, ring learning with errors ring LWE, the ring learning with errors key exchange and the ring learning with errors signature, the older NTRU or GGH encryption schemes, and the newer NTRU signature and BLIST signatures. Some of these schemes like NTRU encryption have been studied for many years without anyone finding a feasible attack. Others like the ring LWE algorithms have proofs that their security reduces to a worst case problem. The post-quantum cryptography study group sponsored by the European Commission suggested that the Steele-Steinfeld variant of NTRU be studied for standardization rather than the NTRU algorithm. At that time, NTRU was still patented. <laughs> <laughs> Multivariate cryptography This includes cryptographic systems such as the rainbow unbalanced oil and vinegar scheme which is based on the difficulty of solving systems of multivariate equations. Various attempts to build secure multivariate equation encryption schemes have failed. However, multivariate signature schemes like rainbow could provide the basis for a quantum secure digital signature. There is a patent on the rainbow signature scheme. Hash-based cryptography This includes cryptographic systems such as Lamport signatures and the Merkle signature scheme and the newer XMSS and SPHINCS schemes. Hash-based digital signatures were invented in the late 1970s by Ralph Merkle and have been studied ever since as an interesting alternative to number-theoretic digital signatures like RSA and DSA. Their primary drawback is that for any hash-based public key, there is a limit on the number of signatures that can be signed using the corresponding set of private keys. This fact had reduced interest in these signatures until interest was revived due to the desire for cryptography that was resistant to attack by quantum computers. There appear to be no patents on the Merkle signature scheme and there exist many non-patented hash functions that could be used with these schemes. The stateful hash-based signature scheme XMSS is described in RFC 8391. Note that all the above schemes are one-time or bounded time signatures. Moni Nayer and Modi Young invented UOWHF hashing in 1989 and designed a signature based on hashing the Nayer-Young scheme, which can be unlimited time in use, the first such signature that does not require trapdoor properties. Code-based cryptography 
This includes cryptographic systems which rely on error correcting codes, such as the Michaelis and Niederreiter encryption algorithms and the related Courtois, Finnish, and Sendreyer signature scheme. The original Michaelis signature using random GOPA codes has withstood scrutiny for over 30 years. However, many variants of the Michaelis scheme, which seek to introduce more structure into the code used in order to reduce the size of the keys, have been shown to be insecure. The post-quantum cryptography study group sponsored by the European Commission has recommended the Michaelis public key encryption system as a candidate for long-term protection against attacks by quantum computers. Topic: <laughs> Supersingular elliptic curve isogeny cryptography. This cryptographic system relies on the properties of supersingular elliptic curves and supersingular isogeny graphs to create a Diffie-Hellman replacement with forward secrecy. This cryptographic system uses the well-studied mathematics of supersingular elliptic curves to create a Diffie-Hellman-like key exchange that can serve as a straightforward quantum computing resistant replacement for the Diffie-Hellman and elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman key exchange methods that are in widespread use today. Because it works much like existing Diffie-Hellman implementations, it offers forward secrecy which is viewed as important both to prevent mass surveillance by governments but also to protect against the compromise of long-term keys through failures. In 2012, researchers Sun, Tian and Wang of the Chinese State Key Lab for Integrated Service Networks and Zidian University, extended the work of De Feo, Zhao, and Plut to create quantum secure digital signatures based on supersingular elliptic curve isogenies. There are no patents covering this cryptographic system. Topic: <inaudible> Symmetric key quantum resistance. Provided one uses sufficiently large key sizes, the symmetric key cryptographic systems like AES and SNOW 3G are already resistant to attack by a quantum computer. Further, key management systems and protocols that use symmetric key cryptography instead of public key cryptography like Kerberos and the 3GPP mobile network authentication structure are also inherently secure against attack by a quantum computer. Given its widespread deployment in the world already, some researchers recommend expanded use of Kerberos like symmetric key management as an efficient and effective way to get post-quantum cryptography today. Security reductions In cryptography research, it is desirable to prove the equivalence of a cryptographic algorithm and a known hard mathematical problem. These proofs are often called security reductions and are used to demonstrate the difficulty of cracking the encryption algorithm. In other words, the security of a given cryptographic algorithm is reduced to the security of a known hard problem. Researchers are actively looking for security reductions in the prospects for post-quantum cryptography. Current results are given here. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lattice-based cryptography, ring LWE signature. In some versions of ring LWE, there is a security reduction to the shortest vector problem (SVP) in a lattice as a lower bound on the security. The SVP is known to be NP-hard. Specific ring LWE systems that have provable security reductions include a variant of Lyubyshevsky's ring LWE signatures defined in a paper by Gunizu, Lyubyshevsky, and Poppelman. The glyph signature scheme is a variant of the Gunizu, Lyubyshevsky, and Poppelman GLP signature which takes into account research results that have come after the publication of the GLP signature in 2012. Another ring LWE signature is ring Tesla. Topic: <laughs> Lattice-based cryptography (NTRU) Bliss. The security of the NTRU encryption scheme and the Bliss signature is believed to be related to, but not provably reducible to, the closest vector problem (CVP) in a lattice. The CVP is known to be NP-hard. The post-quantum cryptography study group sponsored by the European Commission suggested that the Steele-Steinfeld variant of NTRU which does have a security reduction be studied for long-term use instead of the original NTRU algorithm. Topic: 
Multivariate cryptography – rainbow The rainbow multivariate equation signature scheme is a member of a class of multivariate quadratic equation cryptosystems called unbalanced oil and vinegar cryptosystems. UOV cryptosystems Bulligan, Petzolt and Bookman have shown a reduction of generic multivariate quadratic UOV systems to the NP hard multivariate quadratic equation solving problem. Topic: <laughs> Hash-based cryptography, Merkle signature scheme. In 2005, Luis Garcia proved that there was a security reduction of Merkle hash tree signatures to the security of the underlying hash function. Garcia showed in his paper that if computationally one-way hash functions exist then the Merkle hash tree signature is provably secure, therefore, if one used a hash function with a provable reduction of security to a known hard problem one would have a provable security reduction of the Merkle tree signature to that known hard problem. The post-quantum cryptography study group sponsored by the European Commission has recommended use of Merkle signature scheme for long-term security protection against quantum computers. Topic: <laughs> Code-based cryptography, Michaelis. The Michaelis encryption system has a security reduction to the syndrome decoding problem (SDP). The SDP is known to be NP hard. The post quantum cryptography study group sponsored by the European Commission has recommended the use of this cryptography for long term protection against attack by a quantum computer. <laughs> Code based cryptography, RLCE In 2016, Wang proposed a random linear code encryption scheme RLCE which is based on Michaelis schemes. RLCE scheme can be constructed using any linear code such as Reed-Solomon code by inserting random columns in the underlying linear code generator matrix. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Supersingular elliptic curve isogeny cryptography. Security is related to the problem of constructing an isogeny between two supersingular curves with the same number of points. The most recent investigation of the difficulty of this problem is by Delfs and Galbraith indicates that this problem is as hard as the inventors of the key exchange suggest that it is. There is no security reduction to a known NP-hard problem. Comparison. One common characteristic of many post-quantum cryptography algorithms is that they require larger key sizes than commonly used pre-quantum public key algorithms. There are often trade-offs to be made in key size, computational efficiency and ciphertext or signature size. The table lists some values for different schemes at a 128-bit post-quantum security level. A practical consideration on a choice among post-quantum cryptographic algorithms is the effort required to send public keys over the Internet. From this point of view, the ring LWE, NTRU, and SIDH algorithms provide key sizes conveniently under 1 kilobyte, hash signature public keys come in under 5 kilobytes, and MDPC-based Michaelis takes about 1 kilobyte. On the other hand, rainbow schemes require about 125 kilobytes and GOPA-based Michaelis requires a nearly 1 megabyte key. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lattice-based cryptography, LWE key exchange and ring LWE key exchange. The fundamental idea of using LWE and ring LWE for key exchange was proposed and filed at the University of Cincinnati in 2011 by Jintai Ding. The basic idea comes from the associativity of matrix multiplications, and the errors are used to provide the security. The paper appeared in 2012 after a provisional patent application was filed in 2012. In 2014, Pikert presented a key transport scheme following the same basic idea of Ding's, where the new idea of sending additional 1-bit signal for rounding in Ding's construction is also utilized. For somewhat greater than 128 bits of security, Sing presents a set of parameters which have 6,956-bit public keys for the Pikert scheme. 
The corresponding private key would be roughly 14,000 bits. In 2015, an authenticated key exchange with provable forward security following the same basic idea of DINGS was presented at Eurocrypt 2015, which is an extension of the HMQV construction in Crypto 2005. The parameters for different security levels from 80 bits to 350 bits, along with the corresponding key sizes are provided in the paper. <laughs> Lattice-based cryptography, NTRU encryption For 128 bits of security in NTRU, Hirschhorn, Hofstein, Howgrave Graham and White, recommend using a public key represented as a degree 613 polynomial with coefficients mod 2 10 display style bmod left 2 caret 10 right This results in a public key of 6130 bits. The corresponding private key would be 6,743 bits. Topic: <inaudible> Multivariate cryptography, rainbow signature. For 128 bits of security and the smallest signature size in a rainbow multivariate quadratic equation signature scheme, Petzold, Bulligan, and Bookman recommend using equations in f. 31 display style math b f underscore 31 with a public key size of just over 991,000 bits a private key of just over 740,000 bits and digital signatures which are 424 bits in length topic <laughs> hash based cryptography merkle signature scheme In order to get 128 bits of security for hash-based signatures to sign 1 million messages using the fractal Merkle tree method of Nayershin Hav and Wool the public and private key sizes are roughly 36,000 bits in length. <laughs> Code-based cryptography, McKeelis For 128 bits of security in a McKeelis scheme, the European Commission's Post-Quantum Cryptography Study Group recommends using a binary GOPA code of length at least n equals 6960 display style n equals 6960 and dimension at least k equals 5413 Display style k equals 5,413, and capable of correcting t equals 119. Display style t equals 119. Errors. With these parameters, the public key for the McKeeley system will be a systematic generator matrix whose non-identity part takes k times n minus K equals eight million three hundred seventy three thousand nine hundred eleven. Display style K times N K equals eight million three hundred seventy three thousand nine hundred eleven bits. The corresponding private key, which consists of the code support with N equals six thousand nine hundred sixty. Display style N equals six thousand nine hundred sixty. Elements from G F two thirteen display style G F two carat thirteen and a generator polynomial of with T equals one hundred nineteen display style T equals one hundred nineteen coefficients from G F two thirteen Display style GF two carat thirteen will be ninety two thousand twenty seven bits in length. The group is also investigating the use of quasi cyclic MDPC codes of length at least n equals two sixteen plus six equals sixty five thousand five hundred forty two. 
Display style n equals two carat sixteen plus six equals sixty five thousand five hundred forty two. And dimension at least k equals two fifteen plus three equals thirty two thousand seven hundred seventy one. Display style k equals two carat fifteen plus three equals thirty two thousand seven hundred seventy one, and capable of correcting t equals two hundred sixty four. Display style t equals two hundred sixty four. Errors. With these parameters, the public key for the Michaelis system will be the first row of a systematic generator matrix whose non-identity part takes k equals 32771 display style k equals 32771 bits the private key a quasi cyclic parity check matrix with d equals 274 display style d equals 274 non zero entries on a column or twice as much on a row takes no more than d times 16 equals 4384 display style d times 16 equals 4384 bits when represented as the coordinates of the non-zero entries on the first row Barreto et al recommend using a binary gopa code of length at least n equals 3307 Display style n equals 3307, and dimension at least k equals 2515. Display style k equals 2515, and capable of correcting t equals 66. Display style t equals 66. Errors. With these parameters the public key for the Michaelis system will be a systematic generator matrix whose non-identity part takes k times n minus k equals 1,991,880 display style k times n k equals 1,991,880 bits the corresponding private key, which consists of the code support with n equals 3307 display style n equals 3307 elements from g f 2 12 display style g f 2 caret 12 and a generator polynomial of with t equals 66 display style t equals 66 coefficients from g f 2 12 display style g f 2 caret 12 will be 40476 bits in length topic <laughs> super singular elliptic curve isogeny cryptography For 128 bits of security in the supersingular isogeny Diffie-Hellman method, de Feo, Zhao and Plutt recommend using a supersingular curve modulo a 768-bit prime. If one uses elliptic curve point compression the public key will need to be no more than 8 by 768 or 6144 bits in length. A March 2016 paper by authors Azardarash, Zhao, Kalach, Kaziel, and Leonardi showed how to cut the number of bits transmitted in half, which was further improved by authors Costello, Zhao, Longa, Nairig, Renes and Urbanic resulting in a compressed key version of the SIDH protocol with public keys only 2,640 bits in size. This makes the number of bits transmitted roughly equivalent to the non-quantum secure RSA and Diffie-Hellman at the same classical security level. Topic. Symmetric key-based cryptography 
As a general rule, for 128 bits of security in a symmetric key-based system, one can safely use key sizes of 256 bits. The best quantum attack against generic symmetric key systems is an application of Grover's algorithm, which requires work proportional to the square root of the size of the key space. To transmit an encrypted key to a device that possesses the symmetric key necessary to decrypt that key requires roughly 256 bits as well. It is clear that symmetric key systems offer the smallest key sizes for post-quantum cryptography. Forward secrecy A public key system demonstrates a property referred to as perfect forward secrecy when it generates random public keys per session for the purposes of key agreement. This means that the compromise of one message cannot lead to the compromise of others, and also that there is not a single secret value which can lead to the compromise of multiple messages. Security experts recommend using cryptographic algorithms that support forward secrecy over those that do not. The reason for this is that forward secrecy can protect against the compromise of long-term private keys associated with public-private key pairs. This is viewed as a means of preventing mass surveillance by intelligence agencies. Both the Ring LWE Key Exchange and Supersingular Isogeny Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange can support forward secrecy in one exchange with the other party. Both the Ring LWE and SIDH can also be used without forward secrecy by creating a variant of the classic Elgamal encryption variant of Diffie-Hellman. The other algorithms in this article, such as NTRU, do not support forward secrecy as is. Any authenticated public key encryption system can be used to build a key exchange with forward secrecy. Topic: <laughs> Open Quantum Safe Project. Open Quantum Safe OQS project was started in late 2016 and has the goal of developing and prototyping quantum resistant cryptography. It aims to integrate current post-quantum schemes in one library, Libix. Libix is an open-source C library for quantum-resistant cryptographic algorithms. Libix initially focuses on key exchange algorithms. Libix provides a common API suitable for post-quantum key exchange algorithms, and will collect together various implementations. Libix will also include a test harness and benchmarking routines to compare performance of post-quantum implementations. Furthermore, OQS also provides integration of Libix into OpenSOL. As of April 2017, the following key exchange algorithms are supported. Topic: Implementation. One of the main challenges in post-quantum cryptography is considered to be the implementation of potentially quantum-safe algorithms into existing systems. There are tests done, for example by Microsoft Research implementing PICNIC in a PKI using hardware security modules. Test implementations for Google's NewHope algorithm have also been done by HSM vendors. See also Ideal lattice cryptography – Ring learning with errors is one example of ideal lattice cryptography. Post-quantum cryptography standardization by NIST Quantum cryptography, for cryptography based on quantum mechanics, likely to be implemented in quantum computers. <laughs>